Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, and today I'm here to give you my TBR for the Bio New Bibliothon. This is the final Buy a New Bibliothon. So I definitely wanted to do this one. I really wasn't planning on doing readathons this month because it is a Camp NaNoWriMo month, but the Bibliothon is the first readathon I ever did on my channel and it's the first time I ever learned that a readathon was really a thing. So it has some serious nostalgia factor and I definitely wanted to partake in this readathon. Because this is the final Biennial Bibliothon, there are nine challenges instead of the regular seven and you can double up on challenges so that's what I'm choosing to do because again I don't really have time to read a book for every challenge like I try to do normally but I'm still going to be reading at least four books, at least five books rather because I can't do math because you can only double up, you cannot triple up. So I'll be reading at least five books and I'm going to give you what they are right now. So the first book is The Group Book and it is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I do not have a copy of it yet. I'm going to try to get it from the library but we'll see what happens. The next challenge is to read an adult book and for that I chose The Winter Sister by Megan Collins. I'm also going to be reading this for the cover by challenge. I got this from book of the month and had to read the blurb because the cover was really pretty and so it is an adult book and it's a pretty cover so I'm gonna be reading this. It's about a girl whose sister was murdered several years prior and they never really found her killer and she's always thought that it was her sister's boyfriend at the time and in the future her mother is ill and she has to go back home to try to help take care of her mother and her mother's aide is actually her sister's previous boyfriend and so it's the sister trying to figure out who killed her sister the sister trying to figure out who killed her sister because that's not confusing. Anyway, that's what it's about. It's a murder mystery. I'm reading more thrillers lately, more mystery type thriller books um, and more adult. So I wanted to pick this one up and it sounds like the perfect read for this readathon. Look guys, bulk filming day. There's more books in the background. The next challenge is to read a graphic novel and I will be reading which? Volume 5. This one is Nerissa's Revenge Part 2. I'm also going to be reading this for the predicted five star read because it's the witch books and I love them. This series follows a group of five girls who are given the powers of a guardian which they protect this veil in between the two worlds, their world and the fantasy world where creatures can come through and hurt the humans and their job is to protect the portal between the two worlds to keep people from coming through and it was also a television show when I was a kid and I just really love the series so I'm gonna keep braiding it. The next challenge is a free choice slash wild card and I'm gonna be doubling this up with the read from an author you've never read and for that I chose Lineage by C. Von Zale Lewis. Lineage is an arc it actually comes out on July 16th and I read the synopsis and I absolutely loved it. I know it's an adult book and I was told that it has some explicit type sex scenes in it which I'm cool with because I'm 32. I'm pretty sure I can read a sex scene and be okay. But just for a warning, if you're not into that, I've heard that's in there. I don't really know yet. Also, I'm going to give you a description, but I highly recommend looking at the description on Goodreads. I'm going to link it in the description box below because it is so much more grand than I can even fathom spewing to you at this moment in time. Essentially, it is about a young woman who comes from this town where the family that she's from is all bound in earth magic. Her father owns an apothecary and she doesn't really buy into the whole magic thing and she chooses to leave from home and go out and find a real job in the real world. She gets a job at an insurance agency and she discovers that the people that run the insurance agency, the family that run it, also partake in some form of magic that she didn't really realize at the beginning. And as time moves on, she finds out that this family actually practices blood magic, which is a really deadly type of magic, and they have kidnapped a friend of hers and her children. And so the main character must then revert back to going back to home where she has left from and she has to face the fact that she does have magic within her and that she does come from a magical family and has to embrace that in order to save the day. Again, I'm really excited to read this one. I'm, I, it sounds real good, especially when I'm not the one trying to describe it. So I'm super excited for it and I can't wait to read it. And I'm hoping to read that at the beginning of the readathon. Um, so that I can have a review up and posted pretty early on and I will probably do a full video review for it if I like it. And the last book on my readathon again is a double up and it is a host five star read as well as 
a book that I've been excited for but haven't picked up and that is going to be Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I have looked forward to this for a long time. It's been sitting on my shelf for quite a while. The thought process behind it sounds amazing. It's a futuristic world where people don't really die anymore so the Scythes are these uh, people creature things that go around and they decide who to kill and how to kill them and I believe this book follows like a the protagonist is a, an apprentice an apprentice of a site. Um, just sounds super interesting and I definitely want to read it and Neil Schuchman is on my list of authors to read this year. It's like six birds one stone I'm just saying that's a really big stone. So these and more are the books that I plan to read for the Biennial Bibliothon this year and again it is the final Biennial Bibliothon I'm super sad about it but I'm so excited that I'm gonna get a chance to partake in the final one and I'm, I'm definitely gonna miss it. It's very bittersweet but I'm excited about the books that I'm reading for the readathon and I I think I can get through all of them. I will have more information about the Biennial Bibliothon linked in the description box below in case you're interested in joining in as well. It's not too late. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. This month it's probably going to be both Fridays and Sundays because I have a lot of content going on. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything that I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!